It's Halloween time again. Some of the power went out. Well, we've got a little bit of power, obviously. So we've got to back up to run the TV. Today we're having a look at Salem's Lot from 1979, directed by Toby Hooper. Ben Mears has been away too long. And now at last, he's come home. Salem's Lot is about Ben Mears, uh, played by David Soule. He goes to Salem's Lot. Uh, he's a writer and he's going to investigate this uh, this mysterious house. Home to Salem's Lot, a town too good to be true. People around the town start to die mysteriously and Ben goes to investigate. Uh, he soon discovers that the owner of the mansion is actually a vampire in disguise. The film's almost like a discount Nosferatu meets The Exorcist, meets a zombie flick, meets Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, it begins with uh, the film playing out like an Alfred Hitchcock thriller. The lead actor in the film, David Soul, his character was a little bit arrogant when the film first started and I didn't really care for his character much. As it went along, I didn't really care for his character much more either. Uh, he was quite ordinary, he was okay. Uh, the real actor in the film was James Mason. James Mason's always good uh, in any role that he's in. I quite like him as an actor. Stop, holy man! You can do nothing against the master. There's minimal horror effects in the film. Uh, the use of fog, and then they just rewind the footage to make it look surreal. Nothing really happens for the first half of the film. It just meanders about. There are some scenes that are pretty creepy. Toby Hooper would go on to direct Poltergeist a few years later. And it kind of felt like Salem's Lot was the drawing board for Poltergeist in a way. Poltergeist was a genuinely terrifying film. I really enjoyed that film. Uh, but I just couldn't really say the same for Salem's Lot. It was just seemed a little bit lackluster in comparison. It's the usual Stephen King trope. Uh, somebody rocking up to a, to a town and noticing something weird about the town. Uh, you know, the mist, things like that. It plays out like a generic PG horror movie. But it's watchable enough that you rollick along with it. Bill! Yeah, you know I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Overall, Salem's Lot, it is made for TV. You don't really expect a lot. The movie was slow. The shocks were a little bit subpar. There were some creepy moments in the film, but there wasn't really anything that stood out. It did feel like Toby Hooper was trying to genuinely make something horrifying. So with that, I'm going to give Salem's Lot two and a half stars. Stephen King, the best-selling author of Carrie and The Shining, takes you on a startling journey to Salem's Lot. Well, leave a comment. Let us know if you liked Salem's Lot. Uh, let us know if you're watching any good horror movies this Halloween. It is the spooky season. So, if you want to get real spooky, hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's nothing spooky than you know, getting no notified with new home video episodes or reviews. So, This is James signing off from the Home Video Channel. See you next time.